Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annette and today I am going to be taking a little break from my Pat or Toss YouTube series. That's my series where I let you all know about different skincare products and ingredients and I let you know if I would recommend that you pat them on your skin or simply toss them. Today's video is really quick. Um, it's just showing you my nighttime skincare routine, showing you different products, how I use them, um, and just kind of talking about why I use them as well. So that's what today's video is all about. It's a real quick video. You can put it on while you're doing your own skincare routine and just join in the fun as well. And I thank you all so much for watching this video. Please do kindly consider subscribing to my channel. I am currently on a goal to reach 1,000 subscribers and I am so close. I thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope it's helpful. If you do have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below and I will be sure to get to them as well. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram as well for any more content that you might want and TikTok also. Um, all right, so by the way, I am wearing a shirt, so yeah, I'm not naked. Um, so the first step for me in my nighttime skincare routine, nighttime routine in uh, general is to brush my teeth. So I'm gonna just go on and do that. All right, so next up, I'm using the Liz Watier Deep Cleansing Oil. And this is what it looks like. My glasses aren't on right now, so I don't know if it's focusing or not, but that's it. And I've used quite a bit, so you can expect a review. Um, so actually, in combination with this, uh, I'm going to also be doing my Gua Sa Massage. I do my Gua Sa Massage every single night. Um, and the one that I use is by Lanshin, and so this is their intro uh, guasa tool. So that's the one that I use, that's what it looks like. Um, so usually I use this tool with like an oil at the end of my skincare routine, but you are able to also use it with your cleansing oil. Um, the owner of the brand, Lanshin, uh, she posted a video just now that I saw on Instagram where she was using a deep cleansing oil She was using a cleansing oil to do the massage. So I'm going to do that today And as you all know double cleansing is super duper important you want to get off all of that dirt and gunk on the skin. So I'm just putting the cleansing oil in the areas that I want to cleanse, and especially in the areas where the massage tool is going to glide against because you don't want your skin dry when you're doing a massage, whether it be with a jade roller or a glass tool. Um, it is just really important you don't want to be having dry skin because then it tugs and pulls on the skin and that's the opposite <laughs> of what you want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to start my Gua Sa massage. And so I just target the points, um, like I target my neck, my shoulders, um, and then the different bone structures, uh, the different bone points on my face. Thank you. 
So with that done, now we can uh, take off the cleansing oil. And it's how my face looks after the massage. Also, I do my gua sha massage at night just because for a couple of reasons. Number one, when I wake up in the morning, I'm not really like concerned with deep puffing. Um, gua sha is really great for deep puffing, but it also has a lot of other really incredible elements as well. Like I felt, I've noticed, sorry, kind of like the face structure of my face change, um, get a lot tighter, um, not tighter, but just more like, like chiseled I would say um so like I, I find that the effects when I use it at night carry on throughout the day the next day um and continuously especially if you're if I'm if you're doing the routine every night then it definitely works for you and then I also just like the like coming down effect of sitting down to do a nice facial massage at night as well so now I'm going to cleanse my skin after using the cleansing oil to remove all of the dirt, impurities, uh, you know, sunscreen, whatever it may be, makeup as well. So again, <laughs> I'm going, going in with Liz Watier, and this is her cooling cream foam cleanser. That's the product. This product will never run out, and I'm going to show you why. That is all you need. And you're gonna see how how well it does. Going in again with my washcloth or face cloth, sorry, to uh, tap and remove it. And my my face cloth is um, warm, by the way. I just run it under warmer hot water. To remove the bottom. Skin check. Now it's time to put on the products. So I'm gonna use my Shiseido Fresh Jelly Lotion. I have a review using this very product already on my channel so if you want to see my review you can go see it um, as well so this is uh, an essence currently I'm not really using a toner um, part of why it's taking me so long to like upload a nighttime routine is because my nighttime routine is super simple nothing crazy going on <laughs> so I put on the essence because I just truly believe that the skin needs a base before any other serums or products i really think like you need a toner or an essence on your skin it preps the skin it gets it ready for what's coming after so <clears throat> so after that i'm gonna use the uh, faded product this is by my topicals you can see it all scrunched up because I've been using it for a while. Another review that's coming. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So what this product does, or what it advertises is doing, is it really has a lot of incredible ingredients that are going to target like hyperpigmentation. Um, it has kojic acid, niacinamide, and like some other products as well. So I like to put a lot. <laughs> So I'll just take it, apply it everywhere. You kind of look like 
a mess at first, but then you rub it in. <laughs> It has a strong, strong smell, but you know, I'm going to bed, so I'm not necessarily going to smell that while I sleep. Um, I'm not really someone who cares all that much about scents and skincare, truth be told, you know. So we're just gonna rub it in. And yeah, it's supposed to target hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and even skin tone, things of the like. I put that right on. Um, you'll notice that I'm not applying like any exfoliating products. So I guess in my morning skincare routine, I'll address that more. But because I use retinol at night, I like to, I try to keep my like BHAs, AHAs in the morning so as not to like mix them together just to give them space to each kind of do their own work. So if I ever am going to use an exfoliating product at night, it would be a chemical exfoliant. Um, so I exfoliate my skin three times a week. So I'll use a chemical exfoliant or I'll use a, um, sorry. <laughs> It'll be a physical exfoliant at night. I'll use a physical, physical um, exfoliant at night. And then in the mornings, I use chemical. Blah. So at nighttime, the chemical exfoliants that I personally love is the Inky List. This is their apple cider vinegar peel. I think it's a really great product. And then the other one is the Tatcha Device Polish Classic. So I'll use this Inky List product once, and then the other two times I'll use Tatcha. Uh, this is at night. So now that I think the faded product has settled in for a bit, I'm gonna use the Eucerin. This is the replenishing face cream. That's it right there. So I'm gonna use that. And the review coming. <laughs> Lots of reviews. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Eucerin face cream. As you can tell, the routine is pretty much done. But I'm gonna put that on. And because I cleanse my shoulder, as you saw earlier, I'm going to put that on down there too. Um, this is the retinol portion. So this is the Neutrogena Rapid, Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Oil. It's by Neutrogena, that's what it looks like. like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's working. But yeah, so that's the cream. Uh, sorry, that's the oil. So I'm just gonna tap that onto my hand. This uh, retinol oil, by the way, also has that like signature Neutrogena retinol scent. Like it's so beautiful. It smells incredible. I have this everywhere. And a pro tip I'll say is give yourself like an hour. Like do your skincare routine. I mean, actually, LA Beautyologist has a post on her Twitter. Where she said you're supposed to do your skincare routine, I think like three hours before you go to bed or something for nighttime. But especially with this rapid wrinkle repair, I think it works if you can let it settle in before your head hits the pillow. Because once your head hits the pillow, you're tossing and turning, and like the skincare might come off, you know what I mean? So it's always good to kind of let it settle in before you finally put your head to the pillow. So to kind of explain um, like everything that I use. I use products that are gonna target hyperpigmentation. Um, that's like the faded and also the retinol as well. Um, and then I use products that are gonna help with helping my skin cell turnover. So that's with the cleansing oil, the cleanser, and then again with the retinol. Um, so I'm having a lot of products that, I have products in there. And then moisturizer, of course, to seal everything in to protect my barrier. Um, so with my nighttime skincare routine, it's very minimal, you don't need a lot. Um, I'm really just focused on making sure that my skin cells do what they gotta do and I'm putting a clean head and clean face onto my pillow every night basically. So that 
is my skincare routine for the nighttime. You know, again, it's nothing crazy, nothing crazy, pretty simple. Um, so yeah, that's the routine that I use. Uh, so far, it hasn't changed for like, I think three months. Um, and I've been really seeing a lot of improvement on my skin. So I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And please do leave comments below if you have any more questions as well that I might not have answered during the video. And yes, then please also consider subscribing to my channel and uh, help me reach 1,000 subscribers. And I hope you're all having a great day and I'll catch.